today we are uh, going to discuss a typical uh, type of operators in quantum mechanics which are called as commutators so the article which we are going to discuss is commutators in quantum mechanics first of all let us see the definition of commutator definition of commutator let a and b let a and b b any two arbitrary operators representing some physical quantities we know that in quantum mechanics there corresponds a operator to to every physical property or physical quantity physical property such as uh, energy momentum and so on so these are these two operators representing such a physical quantities or classical dynamical variables so many times if a and b are any two arbitrary operators then a b may not be same as b a may not be same as b a what it means is we know that an operator operates on some wave function or state function and transforms that state function to some other function so here in this case b operates on state function first and then a operates on a resulting function so the effect of operation of b on the state function first and then by a may not be same as effect of operation of a on state function and then of a b so the effects may not be the same or a b minus b a a b minus b a may not be zero a b minus b a may not be zero so this difference a b minus b a forward product of operators minus reverse product of operators operators of this may not be zero in general forward product minus reverse product of operators may not be zero and this uh, this difference a b minus b a is called as commutator of operators a and b commutator of a and b or commutation bracket of a and b and is defined and is denoted by such a square bracket a comma b this is called as commutation bracket of operators a and b or commutator of a and b and is defined as a b minus b a a b minus b a forward product minus reverse product it may happen that uh, a b sometimes may be equal to b a the effects might be same if a b equal to b a we mean effect of operation of b on state function first and then by effect of a may be equal to effect of operation of a first and then by b then in this case this difference a b minus b a forward product minus reverse product this difference will be zero or this indicates that this commutator a b or commutation bracket of a and b will be zero so in this case if a b equal to b a or when this difference is zero then we say that commutator commutator a b is zero we say that uh, operator a commutes with b operators a and b commute with each other when this particular difference is zero all right after this definition of commutator or commutation bracket of a and b we will go to commutator algebra commutator algebra
so here after we will drop the cap which we are writing on operators to avoid them putting them repeatedly to avoid putting them repeatedly so hereafter i will not use cap on the operators it is understood that a and b are operators so here are the some of the important results of commutation brackets or commutators or some of the important identities the first result is commutator a b a comma b is minus commutator b a this means that when you reverse the order of operators within the commutator then sign of the commutator reverses a b equal to minus b a so let us prove this consider the left hand side commutator a b the definition is a b minus b a forward product minus reverse product this can be written as minus in parenthesis and not in a square bracket b a minus a b b a minus a b and this is equal to minus commutator b a forward product minus reverse product and therefore a b equal to minus b a a b equal to minus b a i am repeating again that you when when you reverse uh, the sequence or the order of operators within the commutator sign of the uh, commutator reverses <coughs> then uh, second property is commutator of commutation bracket of a with a or commutator a a is obviously zero so this can be easily proved because when you will consider when you consider commutator a a the reverse product forward product is a a minus reverse product is also a a and this is obviously zero so this is the second identity commutator of a with itself commutator of an operator with itself is zero then the third property is we have two operators and a and then some scalar multiplied to it some scalar x multiplied to it and b then the result is this scalar or constant x comes out and this is commutator a b okay that scalar doesn't matter whether it is multiplier of first operator or second operator it will come out so that we shall see so let us see the proof of this consider x a this is the third identity x a b the definition is forward product minus reverse product x a b minus reverse product b a b x a b x a this is equal to x a b minus x outside b a okay x is common a b minus b a okay and this is nothing but x commutator a b because a b minus b a is commutator a b forward product minus reverse product in this way we have proved this identity similarly you can prove that suppose you have some other scalar or constant y multiplied to second operator then this y will come out and you will have commutator a b so as i already said that doesn't matter whether it is the constant is multiplied to first operator or second operator it has to come out and the remaining commutator will appear as a ab so how will you prove this if you consider this ayb definition of this commutator will be 
फॉरवर्ड प्रोडक्ट ए वाई बी माइनस वाई बी ए देन वाई कम्स आउट बिंग कॉन्स्टेंट ए बी माइनस वाई बी ए एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वाई कम्यूटेटर ए बी कम्यूटेटर ए बी बिकॉज वाई कम्स आउट एंड यू हैव ए बी माइनस बी ए दिस इज वॉट इट इज एंड Similarly, one more important thing, which is just extension of this result. Suppose I have two scalars, x a and y b. Then the result will be the constant product. the product of constant xy will come out and i have operator ab operator ab so proof of this is again very simple consider x a y b the definition is x a y b minus y b x a okay then x y being scalars or being constants will come out and then a b a b similarly here y x or x y doesn't matter minus x y and then b a so x y comes out and you have a b minus b a so this is x y commutator ab forward product minus reverse product of a and b so this is how we have proved this thing when scalar uh, or constant gets multiplied to either one of these two or both the operators they come out as a constant and the remaining cons the remaining commutator is retained then fourth property is regarding the addition of operator suppose i have a and then b plus c a b plus c the right hand side is uh, a with b commutator a with b plus commutator a with c commutator a with c so what this identity says is that when uh the commutators in wall the addition or subtraction within it then it open the uh, the commutator opens up term by term that is what it says or in other words the addition is distributive uh, the, uh, the addition uh, of operators is distributive with uh, the uh, uh, addition of operators is distributive as far as this uh, sum of the operators sum of sum or uh, subtraction of operators is concerned let us prove this result consider a b plus c the definition is forward product a b plus c minus b plus c a b plus c a okay then ab plus ac minus ba minus ca okay then ab minus ba so this is grouped together this term and this term plus ac minus ca so these two terms are grouped together ab minus ba is nothing but commutator ab plus ac minus ca is commutator ac okay so it obeys the law of distribution uh, with respective addition the same is true for uh, subtraction so similarly just like addition appears in appears as the second term or Uh, the sum of two operators as the second term we have similarly this result 
a plus b c will be a c a with c it will open up term by term a with c and then plus b with c plus b with c so let us prove this consider commutator a plus b with c equal to forward product a plus b with c minus c with a plus b okay then ac plus bc ac plus bc minus ca minus cb ca minus cb so what we want is ac minus ca these two together bc minus cb bc minus cb so ac minus ca plus bc minus cb this is equal to a with c plus b with c b with c so it has opened up term by term a with c b with c a with c b with c the extension of this property can be written as a plus b c plus d how will you write the right hand side a with c a with d b with c b with d commutator a with c plus commutator a with d plus commutator b with c plus commutator b with d commutator b with d so this is the property which can be again easily proved by taking forward product minus reverse product of some of these two operators appearing as a two terms within the commutator so this is what it is then the fifth property is regarding the product of operators within commutator the fifth property which we are going to consider commutator a b c okay product of two operators is appearing as a second operator within the commutator then what happens here is hmm, a b and then c outside c as a post multiplier plus a with c and b as a pre multiplier a with c this is what it is how to remember b is a pre multiplier and c is a post multiplier so a with b and then c as a post multiplier hence it is after the commutation bracket b is a pre multiplier so a with c and b is a pre multiplier to the commutator let us prove this result consider a b c the forward product is a b c minus b c a okay then a b c then then just look at what i want here a b c so minus b a and then c c will come out in order to manage this first term somehow manage these terms which are on rhs so i will write b a c so that this c and c as a post multiplier will come out and i will be left with a b minus b a which stands for commutator a b and therefore what i have done i have subtracted back b a c so i will add b a c and then this second term minus b c a minus b c a so this is equal to a b minus b a c plus now b is a pre multiplier and then a c minus c a 
so this is equal to commutator AB because AB minus BA is commutator AB post multiplier C plus pre multiplier B AC minus CA is commutator AC so this is that property similarly uh, you can write AB comma C commutator AB comma C so let us see how we can prove that result commutator a b comma c so a is a pre multiplier so a is here and then b c okay plus b is a post multiplier so a with c and b is a post multiplier okay a is a pre multiplier remaining is b c and then in product term b is post multiplier so b is post multiplier here remaining is ac uh, let us prove consider a b comma c so this is equal to a b c minus c a b okay so how to manage the first term a b c a b c i want a as a pre multiplier a and then just reverse of this b c so c b a c b minus a c b a a will come out b c minus c b since i have subtracted a c b i will add a c b and automatically this term will get adjusted c a b c a b Okay, so A outside BC minus CB, then AC minus CA post multiplier B. A is a pre multiplier, BC minus CB stands for commutator BC plus AC minus CA stands for commutator AC and B is a post multiplier. In this way, these results can be proved. Alright, then the next important identity which I am going to discuss is this identity. Show that, of course, sixth. Commutator A with commutator B C. We have commutator within commutator. So we have inner commutator which will open, uh, which will of course uh, open first and then we will simplify this A B C plus it starts with B and then C A plus it starts with C and then A B. Okay, this is equal to 0. How will you remember this identity? Remember the operators A B C, they are rotated in a cyclic order. A then comes B then comes C. It starts with B after B there is C after C there is A. They are in a cyclic order. If it starts with C, then after C, there is A and then B, okay. So inner commutator will uh, open the first. So let us prove this. So LHS A definition of commutator BC, BC minus CB plus then B with C A minus A C C A minus A C plus C A B minus B A so this is what we have then A with B C then A with C B they will open up term by term so this is equal to A with B C minus sign a with cb a with cb plus 
B with C A minus B with A C B with A C plus C with A B C with A B minus C with B A C with B A okay so let us check again A B C minus A C B then B C A then minus B A C C A B minus C B A C B A let us simplify A B C minus B C A minus A C B plus because of minus 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 becomes plus C B A C B A okay C B A plus B C A minus C A B minus B A C plus A C B A C B plus C A B minus A B C minus C B A minus minus plus B A C B A C minus sign here C B A minus B A C okay so let us look at the terms A B C A B C is getting cancelled with this A B C then B C A then B C A cancels with this B C A minus A C B minus A C B plus A C B cancels with this then C B A C B A so this cancels with this C B A okay then C A B C A B cancels with this C A B minus B A C minus B A C cancels with this plus B A C so various terms in this expression they are getting cancelled out uh, in pairs and therefore this is equal to 0 so this is important uh, identity as far as commutators in quantum mechanics they are concerned this is well known identity and is called as Jacobi identity is called as Jacobi identity this identity is called as Jacobi identity okay so uh, today we will stop here